from Kansas City, Missouri, Bill Johnson. From Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, Fred Lenning. Everybody and welcome once again from the beautiful Emerson Lanes here in Parkersburg, West Virginia, in the heart of the Ohio Valley. It's Championship Bowling, television's number one bowling show with the world's greatest bowlers in action every week. Over $75,000 in prizes. This is Fred Wolf. Two more of our field of 24 of the nation's top stars in a three-game match again this week. $1,000 to the winner, $500 to the runner-up. All competition is sanctioned by the American Bowling Congress. 300 games are worth $10,000 additional. And on top of all that, a $250 bonus for five strikes in a row in any one game and $50 more for every strike on top of that. It looks like a pretty good match. Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. Bill Johnson from Kansas City, Missouri. We'll be ready for game number one in just a moment. Ready for the first game of three on Championship Bowling, television's number one bowling show from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Here is Bill Johnson from Kansas City, Missouri. Big reach, beautiful pocket hit, and he leaves the seven pin. Working with us this week, Jimmy St. John from Chicago. And Jim, how do you leave a pin like that on a perfect pocket hit? Well, Fred, uh, that ball was just a little bit high, and uh, it has a tendency to leave the seventh pin now and then. Of course, he's a pretty strong boy, throws a lot of speed, very powerful ball, big backswing, Bill Johnson from Kansas City. Here's his opponent, Fred the Moose Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. Here's a fellow who didn't start bowling until he was almost 30 years of age. Has developed into quite a star. The four pin on a pretty good hit. So both Johnson and Lenning a bit tight on their first ball here, and that's understandable. Don't want to take any chances on the first ball on championship bowling. Of course, we always say the first assignment is to get a strike as soon as you can. And then, of course, get your first double. Both boys with spares in the first frame. As you have noticed, all games start from the left side. It's lane 37 here at the Emerson Lanes. We refer to it as the left side. Johnson won the toss. He liked it to start on the left. First frame is bowled by the man who starts on the left. All games starting there. Then the competition goes from right to left. There it is. So Fred Lenning gets the first strike. Now his job is to get the double. Each man bowls two complete frames going from right to left. His opponent, of course, must sit and watch. There is no defense in this game. It's all offense. Big Bill Johnson. Here's the big turn. And he shakes up the 5-7. Uh, Jimmy, in, in looking at this fella, he actually uh, does not follow the usual teaching methods in that he does not square his shoulders to the foul line, does he? You'll notice that he sort of is about 45 degrees. Uh, uh, yes, Phil has turned a little bit sideways as he starts his approach. But he sure squares up at the line. Look at that, Look at that ball. A big explosion there by Albert William... Johnson from Kansas City, who incidentally is making his first appearance on championship bowling. He has his double. Lenning now tries to get his. The turn, he sets it. He's there. 
And we see Lenning playing a very deep angle on the right side, lane 38, as Johnson is. However, Johnson, with much more speed, will not use as much of the lane as Lenning will. Lenning, a three-finger ball, semi-finger tip. Actually, he uses his finger holes as a fingertip, but he does not have the wide span. Look at this. Yes, sir. Well, the Moose uh, out in front, both boys getting one strike and immediately cashing it in with a double. Lenning has made his string to three. Johnson now moves in on the right, trying for his third strike. And watch this ball work. Big turn. Here it comes. He doesn't get there this time. The two and the five. Bill just went out a little too far. A $250 bonus for five strikes in a row in any one game. And $50 additional, of course, for every strike on top of the five. Bill Johnson, born in St. Louis, Missouri, in 1937. Look out. He covered the two and the five. Bill is married, has a young son. His brother, Jerry, is a very fine tennis player. Brother doesn't bowl. Bill's mother and father used to bowl. In fact, Bill used to go along with mom and dad. He learned how to keep score when he was only eight years of age. Four pin this time, just a little tight. So the tight hits are not carrying. Johnson has scattered a couple. He's lost a seven pin and a four pin on the left side. Lenning started with a four pin and has followed with three strikes. The cover. 87. 87 in the fourth with a spare in the fifth. And the moose moves in on the right side. Here's a fella that will never smile while he's in competition. Pretty good reach, and a little too much. The four pin stops him. In six games on championship bowling, Lenning has averaged 206. His high series was 685. His high single game has been 235. At the four pin, and the spare. Running throws, he's there, and that could very well be five in a row. Actually, Lenning has had every ball in the pocket. He started with a four, followed with three strikes, then another four pin, and now the strike in the sixth. Give him the four pin in the fifth, and Lenning would be on his way, working on that $250 bonus with 50 additional dollars for every strike. Big turn, look at that. Oh, man, that looked like an explosion, Jim. Can you throw a ball like that? I do once in a while, Fred. Uh, Bill uh, has a real strong ball, and all he wants to do is get a piece of that head pin. Actually, he handles his, uh, his Amflight uh, magic line ball like it's a fingertip, but he tells me it's only a semi-fingertip. He doesn't put uh, too much of the fingers in the ball. Look at that. Well, at the end of six frames, Lenning is 119 and the strike. Johnson works on two strikes going into the eighth. There he is. Well, Freddie finally threw one out the window. That's the first ball he's had out of the pocket. In fact, there's only been one other ball out of the pocket. Bill Johnson was a little light here on the right side. Lenning to the extreme on the light side by missing the head pin, the one, the two, and the eight. And he has the cover. A couple of pretty tough cookies here. Fred Lenning and another great study in styles. Johnson taking practically the full approach. The high backswing, very strong boy, big turn. And you see Fred Lenning up short well inside the 12-foot line. Four very short steps, but a very fine reach. Just like that. 
Money now with a strike in the eighth. 159 in the seventh. He works on a strike. Still kicking around 249. Bill Johnson, a potential 257. Pointing 45 degrees right. Big turn. And another solid seven. That's two solid sevens and a four pin for Bill Johnson. He started with a seven. Came back with two strikes, then the two five here on the right side. Then a four pin, a double, and a solid seven. A lot of bowling ball this fella can throw. There's the cover. Bill attended SMU on a golf scholarship and in 1963 won the second annual professional bowlers golf tournament, which has developed into quite an event. He has shot actually a 60 for 18 holes at Crystal Lake Country Club in St. Louis. Too high. So that's the first one that Bill has pulled, the 3610. And it just so happens that Bill will admit to one thing, that this is his toughest spare. How do you look at this spare, Jim? Uh, this is a real tough spare, Fred. Uh, if you don't get the ball out there, you can chop the three. And if uh, you throw the ball a little too fast, uh, don't get up to the three pin. Uh, that's one of the things right there that can happen real easy. Well, there's Bill Johnson, who has been throwing that ball in the 1-3 pocket. He makes one mistake to 3-6-10 and then misses the spare. 182 in the ninth, and here's a great chance for Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, a 200-pounder to get himself out in front with this strike. He's on one, and he's got the double. Well, Mr. Lenning took full advantage. You don't give this fellow any room when you're on a strike and your opponent is open. It's a great opportunity to really pick up some pins. And Lenning now can get out of here with 249. He still has a chance for the $250 bonus. He has room for three strikes in the tenth. He works on two. In the tenth, Lenning throws. It's there. He does not. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, man, how about that? Those AMF uh, tournament grade pins rolling beautiful across that pin deck. And Mr. Uh, Lenning picks himself up a turkey, keeps himself alive, and that's another 10 pins that Bill Johnson will have to worry about in the two games to follow. $1,000 to the winner. Come on, Frederick. Get it up there. The 5-7 stops him, and the $250 bonus is not touched here in the first game. Fred has four daughters and one son, five children. They all love to follow dad whenever he throws that bowling ball. And he'll take one to play it safe. For 236, Fred Lenning, the moose from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, getting a great start here. 236 is Bill Johnson, who missed the 3 6 10 in the ninth, steps in in the 10th frame. He's right right back. Jimmy, I'm going to ask you a question. Some of the boys feel this way. Now, when Johnson was on the double and left the solid seven pin here on the right side in the ninth, or in the eighth, rather, when he went to the left side and threw the bad ball, do you think that's a normal letdown when you lose a good hit going to the next frame? Very much so, Fred. Oh, that's a lot of power, isn't it? When this fella is thin, those pins just go a-dancing. Johnson has really been tearing them apart. Uh, he's lost a couple of tough ones. Three, three actually, but they've all been solid. Two seven pins and a four pin. When he gives that ball room, there's two high, two high, and he gets nine. So Bill Johnson checks out with two eleven. So it looks like we have another great match going here on Championship Bowling, the number one bowling show in television. This is Fred Wolf at the Emerson Lanes in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Pay attention to this. Here are the scores for the first game. Bill Johnson from Kansas City, 211. Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, 236. Lenning coming up with seven strikes. Johnson had six. Looks like a great start. We're ready for the second game of three here on Championship Bowling. Is Parkersburg ready?
Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, moving in on the left, starting the second game of three on championship bowling. Look out, Frederick, you dropped it. Well, he missed the head bin. The one, the two, the four, and the eight. Quite obvious there. Uh, that ball was on its way before Fred had a chance to finish his delivery. Jim, I suppose that happens once in a while. Uh, yes, Fred, when you're sitting uh, waiting for the other man to finish up and uh, under the lights, it's warm and it's very easy to drop a ball. Lenny now up short. This fellow takes a very short approach. Does it the easy way. Nice lift and there's the cover. Nice shot. Fred followed the uh, instructions of the exclusive AMF spare maker, which uh, indicated to put the ball between the one and the two pin, and that was one of the 1,023 possible spare leaves. And that AMF spare maker will show you how to make every one of them. There's another tight hit, the four pin by Johnson. Oh, this fellow really sails that ball. A lot of speed, very deep angle, and it's amazing with the speed that he does throw that he can still break the ball. There it is. There's the cover. The cover by Bill Johnson. Championship bowling, and you've watched television's number one bowling show, the world's greatest bowlers over the years from Chicago, Paramus, New Jersey, Louisville, Kentucky, Coral Gables, Florida, Toledo, Ohio, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Well, he's high again, the 6'10", Bill Jensen. Very interesting statistic here in Parkersburg, West Virginia, the 300,000th pin was officially knocked down in the first game of this very match between Bill Johnson and Fred Lenning. There's the cover. There have been 1,404 games bowled on championship bowling over the past 10 years. The average per game, 213. And that proves the world's best in action. There's the 10 pin on a Brooklyn hit. And that's a very unusual leave. Fred Lenning, counting nine in the first frame on his spare, giving him 19, and the first 10 pin that we have seen to be converted. At least Mr. Lenning hopes it will be. There it is. It's rather unusual, uh, Jimmy, isn't it, to leave a 10-pin on a solid Brooklyn? Uh, yes, it is, Fred. Uh, it seems that uh, the pin action is uh, a real funny down there on that type of a hit, and uh, the result is leaving the solid 10. Fred Lenny, he had seven strikes the first game, looking for his first strike here in the second game. And he won't have to look much more because there it is. Lenning now beginning to line them in there. Fred playing a much tighter angle than Bill Johnson and throwing much less speed. Oh, and he threw that one out there. He didn't get the lift he wanted. The one, two, four, and the eight. Missing the head pin. The same lead that Lenning showed us in the first frame. And the exclusive AMF spare maker shows us the easiest way to make this spare, putting that ball between the one and the two pin. And that's right where it's going. Nice shot. You know, bowling centers today are becoming quite a show place. Just going inside them is fun. Many of them are equipped with a restaurant, lounge, all modern facilities. They're all there waiting for you to come in and enjoy them. And, of course, the real fun doesn't begin until you pick up that bowling ball and let it roll down the lane. And when you get yourself a Brooklyn strike along the way, it'll make you feel much better about the whole thing. Why not be a participant in this great sport? And for the ladies, well, my goodness, you have all day. Morning leagues, afternoon leagues, your neighborhood bowling proprietor will tell you how to do it. Here's Lenny. Come on, boy. Look at that action. Fred Lenny, 
This fellow's not a youngster, born back in uh, 1922. Didn't start bowling until he was almost 30 years of age. And the farther the string goes, the more you're going to find this fella move around. He has a fast shuffle at the foul line. Gets the same result that Bill Johnson gets, only he seems to do it a little easier, much slower, short approach, sets it. He's there. There's number three. Now, in, uh, in comparing these two bowling balls after they are delivered, Jimmy, uh, Lenning comes under the category of, uh, of a tracker. Isn't that the idea? He lets that ball sort of roll into the pocket. Uh, yes, he does, Fred. Uh, he stays in the track with that medium speed ball. Where Johnson, Johnson, of course, uh, is the big swinger. Bill Johnson, 54 on the double. Fred Lenning is 39 in the second. He works on three strikes. We're in the sixth. Second game. Big Bill throws it out there. Hold it out. Looks out. Looks out for that 10 pin. Well, that 10 pin was all the way over on the nine pin spot and finally toppled over the end of the lane into the pin receptacle, and that's a big triple for Johnson. Both boys going after that bonus money now as Lenning moves in here on the right side. Fred Lenning working on three. Has himself about a 40 pin lead. Look out, look out, look out. In the middle, broke it up 6-10. Seemed like Fred was a little confused on that one, Jim. Uh, I don't believe that he wanted to give the ball as much room. The last time he had three in a row, he, he sent it out too far and didn't come back. He tried to tighten it up a little bit and uh, got a little too tight. 6-10 cross lane, cover the two. Lenning has to spare. Fred will tell you, and I, I certainly believe he's quite honest about it, he, he is actually surprised uh, Jimmy, I don't know if you know this, how quickly he has become the bowler that he is. Sometimes he says, I can't believe that I'm bowling with these big guys, and after all, I haven't been bowling very long. Well, that's true, Fred. Uh, uh, Fred Lenny hasn't been bowling too long, and as a rule, it takes uh, quite a few years to become a top bowler in the country, and he's done it at his age in a very short time. Of course, he was quite an athlete. He was a semi-pro baseball catcher, great halfback, and a great kicker in football. So he has quite a background. Look out, look out, look out. Fred Lenning is now open in the seventh with 143. Johnson unable to keep it going. Working on three, one more here would give him a chance, of course, for the $250 bonus moving to the left. Bill seems to be hitting the left side uh, a little better than the right side. Most of his trouble has been here on lane 38. We refer to it as the right side. Look out! Oh, brother. Oh, he really fired that one. That got down. That was going a mile a minute, Jim. Uh, Bill stuck a little bit that time and uh, had a tendency just to let go of the ball instead of getting a little lift on it. Bill Johnson, Kansas City, a scratch golfer and a great coming bowling star. He'll have to do better than that. He missed the head pin. The one and the two, the second time this game that Bill has missed the head pin. He has a margin of 18 pins on his opponent, Fred Lenning. The margin overall less than 10. The cover, Johnson has. So Fred Lenning, the moose from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, moves in here on the right side. His high television series back in 1960 in Minneapolis, he shot 739. Doesn't get there. The two, four, five, eight, they call that one the bucket. And the exclusive AMF spare maker will indicate that that spare should be made by putting the ball between the two and the five. And of course, hope that it'll follow through to take the eight. That's a pretty tough shot. Lenning moving to the extreme left. He's going to let the ball roll right into the group. And he got away with one. Boy. 
I noticed uh, a couple of frames ago, Jimmy. Uh, he moved to the extreme left over on the uh, on the other lane, and the ball didn't quite get there. Now that one didn't get up there either. That's right, Fred. Uh, when you're way to the left, like uh, Lenny was playing, uh, you have to get that ball going right straight towards the two pin, or it'll skid off to the right on you. A big spare for Lenny. We're in the ninth. Lenny throws. Got to hurry. He gets there. Leaves the ten pin. And these boys uh, look like they were going to be flying here. About uh, through the seventh frame of the first game, looked like a big total. Lenning finally finishing with 236. Johnson was open in the ninth, missing a spare in the first game, settled for 211. At the 10 pin, Lenning cover. <laughs> so Bill Johnson will move in on the right side. Bill's high TV performance was a 736 total in Kansas City on the King Louis show, and he shot a 279 game, getting the first nine in a row. Ten pin stops him. This is Championship Bowling, television's number one bowling show with the world's greatest bowlers in action every week. We're at the Emerson Lanes in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Emerson Lanes, the host of the 1964 International Moose Tournament. There's the cover. John Milanese, our statistician. Jimmy St. John of Chicago, a professional bowler, sitting in with us here. And our hosts, Mark Nichols and Jim Chacona. Two fine proprietors here at the Emerson Lanes. Bill Johnson moves left. We go into the tenth. The margin only eight pins. Johnson is high. He looks at the 3-6-10 again. The second time he's looked at this shot over on the left side. The first time he shot at it, he went past the three pin. This was in the ninth frame of the first game, and Bill will admit to you that this is his toughest spare shot. The spare maker simply says, put the ball between the three and the six. Let's see if he can do it. Well, Bill's pretty consistent. That's exactly what he did in the first game. Shakes his head, and Mr. Johnson, with a great strike ball, has not shown us too much on spare shots. Lenning now with a chance to add to his margin. He carried 25 pins going into this game. Let's see if he can do something. There it is. Look at that. Do you feel, uh, uh, Jimmy, that Fred's ball rolls over the thumb hole occasionally? You hear the... Uh the bump bump there? Uh, yes, uh, you'll notice that uh, Fred doesn't try to turn the ball too much, and uh, therefore, about three quarters of the way down the lane, it'll start to catch the edge of the thumb hole. It still rolls good. He gets good action with it. Too high, the 6'10". Lenning unable to add another 10 pins to his margin. He picked up 10 with a strike. Johnson was open. Bill settling for 196. The fill here by Lenning, 202. A margin of six. Lenning should go into the third and final game with $1,000 hanging in the balance with about 31 pins. There's the cover of the sixth pin. In the second game, Fred Lenning, 202. Bill Johnson, 196. This is Fred Wolf from Parkersburg, West Virginia on championship bowling. The third and final game still to come up here. So stick around. Here's some interesting words for you. Here are the scores through the first two games. Bill Johnson, 211 and 196. His total, 407. For Fred Lenning, 236. 202, the total, 438. Lenning now with 31 pins. The third game still to come. No bonus money. How about it, fellas? Five in a row? Both of you? You all agree? How about Parkersburg? Would you like to see that? Bill Johnson from Kansas City, trailing by 31 pins, starting game number three on championship bowling. He throws it there. Here's a fellow that was a big surprise on the 1963 PBA Winter Tour, Bill Johnson from Kansas City. He trails by 31 pins. Here's Fred Lenning, who was out in front from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. 
Freddie throws. He's a little tight, and he leaves the four pin. Back in 1963, this fellow rolled a sanctioned 300 score in a PBA event in New Jersey. He was the Philadelphia match game champion in 57 and 58. Was named the 1962 Metropolitan New York Bowler of the Year. That's quite an honor for a fellow that uh, has only been in the game since about 1950 or 51. He's a recreation director in Fairless Hills. Bowling establishment manager. There he is. Well, Lenning could have had a couple of solid four and Bill Johnson now with 31 pins to think about. He is on a strike. He can cut it down to 20 pins with this one. Here's the big turn and the lift. Solid 10. That's the first real solid 10 pin we've looked at. Bill Johnson, the 1963 Kansas City match game champion. On the winter tour in 63, finished 10th in the money winnings, winning over $10,000. He won the Dallas All-American Classic. He was runner-up in the Pontiac Open. <laughs> And a fellow who loves to work, loves to practice. This fellow can bowl 25, 30 games at a crack. Speaking of this practice, Jimmy, how do you, uh, what do you call a good practice session? Can you stay with this guy? Oh, yes, uh, Bill is bowling real good. And uh, the more you work, the, the better you seem to get. Well, he didn't get that one out there. The two, four, five, eight, the bucket. And the AMF spare maker, of course, will indicate the same as it always does, the correct way to make it, putting the ball between the two and the five and have the ball follow through to hit the eight. At least that's the plan that you have. Careful. Covers it. Nice shot. So Johnson unable to move with the strikes. And here's Fred Lenning, that 31 pins now, with a strike here, would look pretty good. Freddie will have himself about uh, 45 pins to work on, seven frames to go, if he can get this one. A pretty good lift. He's got it. No mistake. No mistake on that one. Lenning now moves left. And he has his young opponent, Bill Johnson, in trouble. $1,000 to the winner, $500 to the runner-up. Both these boys will make another appearance here on Championship Bowling, television's number one bowling show. They will meet a different opponent their second time out. Lenning, good reach, hurry up. Look at that exit. Well, there's a fella that gives uh, every pin a chance to do its job. And you can see that action. Bill Johnson on the right. Here's the turn. And another 10 pin. Did you know that surveys show that physically handicapped workers can turn in record-breaking jobs? They're steady, they're reliable, and they have fewer accidents. Why not hire the physically handicapped? At the 10, Johnson cuts. So Bill moves to the left, making his first appearance on championship bowling, something he will long remember. And I would say in his next appearance, here from the Emerson Lanes in Parkersburg, West Virginia, this fellow could break loose and really pile up a total. Seems to be quite confused here this week, wouldn't you say, uh, Jim? Uh, Fred, I think you'll notice that this being Bill's first time on championship bowling, uh, I think he's trying a little too hard. And right now, he seems to be trying to fit the ball more than play it loose like he normally does with that strong ball. The four, the seven, the cover. So for Jackson, it is 73 in the fourth. He has a spare in the fifth, and Fred Lenning now in his turn. Two complete frames. He's working on three strikes. He needs this one and one more to start the $250 bonus going. 
How about this one? Oh, no. A solid seven pin. You can't hit him any better than that. So we have five frames remaining. Both boys have room for five strikes in a row. As a matter of fact, there's room for seven in a row. Starting with the sixth, the cover by Lenny. And he has the spare. So at the end of five here in the third and final game, Johnson, 73 spare. Fred Lenning is 99 spare. Into the six, third and final. Lenning throws. He's there, shakes up everything but the five pin. One thousand dollars to the winner, five hundred dollars to the runner-up. Lenning with a lead of forty-seven pins, five frames to go. That means that if Lenning can fill every frame, Johnson will have to go all the way. the bowler's glove, gets a very large callus on the end of his second finger. That's the last finger to leave the ball. The four pin this time. You professional bowlers, uh, Jim, uh, do many of the boys have uh, finger problems with all the bowling they do on their tours? Uh, yes, we do, uh, Fred. It's uh, quite a wear and tear on your fingers at the amount of games we have to, to bowl each day. Of course, this fella, uh, Johnson, has to bowl naturally the games that he's supposed to bowl in the tournament, but uh, he gets out and practices. I know for this match here this week on championship bowling, he must have bowled at least uh, 60 games in the past three days here on this pair. Well, he's been throwing the ball with a lot of confidence and... Well, we took a good look at a lot like that here before we went on the air, but Bill hasn't been able to line them in there during the show. So we'll take a look. Johnson 112 with a strike. We can strike him out for 232. That means Lenning would need 200 to make sure of a victory. He has a triple. He needs uh, three more spares, and he should have enough. Johnson's still in position for $250 in bonus money. Lenning at the 4-7. He still has room. And there's the cover. Fred Lenning, they call him the moose actually resides in Yardley, Pennsylvania. Bowls out of Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, where he is a recreational director at a bowling establishment. His high three games in sanctioned competition, 775. Big reach. Now ah, he's got There's another roller. By Lenning, that's the second time. That's what you call magic, isn't it, Jim? That's a real good break, Fred. Uh, now, if he can just take advantage of that and strike out here for that bonus award. Bill Jensen in the eighth on the strike. Nice and easy. That's the boy. Well, Bill probably wondering where he's been for the past two games. Looked like he was going to break loose. He had three doubles the first game. Second game, he caught a three-bagger. That's his first double this game. We're in the ninth, and Johnson has a chance to finish with six in a row. There she comes. There we are. So Johnson uh, coming a little late as far as uh, winning this match. Lenning uh, can play it cozy here the last two frames. He had a lead of 31 pins. He has about 14 pins in this game. Lenning will need this one to keep it at 14, and he's going to get it. 10 pin stops him. So there's no bonus money for Lenning, and Fred will need this spare, and he'll have to pay attention in the 10th frame, or Bill Johnson might have those 31 pins back in a hurry. Actually, Lenning will finish first, so he can shut the door 
and put Mr. Johnson out of business for the $1,000. However, Bill can still go after the bonus money. And Fred was a little leery of that one. That ball uh, didn't move much at the end, and a good thing, because he didn't get too much of it. Johnson still potential 232. Lenning had a lead of 31. So actually, Fred needs 200, and he just about has it. No problems. Well, he hasn't got it yet. We didn't figure on a six-pin count here, Jimmy. No, we didn't. Uh, all he had to do was get just a good count, even if he had an open. But now he's got this spare that he missed once and almost missed it the second time. So we'll see what he does this time. Not this time. Well done. And that's what the exclusive AMF spare maker indicated, the ball between the two and the five. So it's the big spare for Lenning. The count to 12, a respectable series of 650. Johnson can go all the way for 639. <laughs> 648, 210, the final game for Fred Lennon. So Big Bill Johnson. The Kansas City Match Game Champion of 1963. The Fifth Army All Events Champion at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri in 1962. And a great golfer, Johnson. Oh, it leaves the solid eight pin. How about, how can that pin possibly stand, Jim? Fred, that's another one of those uh, uh, funny uh, pin actions. It's. Uh, what the bowlers call the only real tap there is. Bill hasn't got any breaks at all this game when he got going. Well, that was in there about as tight as you could get it. And that, of course, uh, took away any possibility of bonus money here in this match this week between Bill Johnson of Kansas City making his first appearance on championship bowling and Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. There is the seven pin. Bill checks in with two pin. And we have a dead heat in the third and final. We'll check these scores, make them official, have a word or two with these two fine bowling champions. This is Fred Wolf from Parkersburg, West Virginia, along with Jimmy St. John. We'll see you right after this word. Here are the official scores for Bill Johnson, 211, 196, and 210 for 617. Fred Lenning, 236, 202, 210, the total 648. Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, the winner. The margin, 31 pins. Did you enjoy this match, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Let's call out the runner-up, Bill Johnson, Kansas City. Bill? I don't know what to say, but you finished second, boy. Oh, uh, Hal's hurt happy anyway. You were very happy. I, I thought that 617 was a very strong 617. You lost some pretty good hits. I lost some pretty good hits, but uh, I threw a few balls there that didn't deserve to strike, too. Oh, I don't know. I thought you were shaking them up pretty good. We mentioned back in 1963, you were the new uh, Professional Bowlers Association golf champion. Is that That's correct? Right. As I understand, you won that. Uh, beat these fellows, uh, Carter, Fazio, Nagy, who... Well, they weren't always, playing too good. They weren't playing too good. Very modest boy. What about your next appearance now here on Championship Bowling in Parkersburg? You're not going to play golf between now and your next appearance? Oh, I think I might. You think you might. See, it bothers him, but he's still going to play. Uh, can we expect about 717 your next trip? That or more, I hope. That or more. All right, Bill, I'm sure you will. Bill Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, there's your $500, your bonus check, which yeah. you did not get. <laughs> See you next time. Bill Johnson. As we always say, where there's a loser, there's a winner. Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Lenny, uh, before I get carried away, I'll give you your $1,000 as the winner. And I, as I said to Bill, there's no bonus money this week. I have an interesting question for you that I'm sure the audience might, and I don't want you to be too modest. For a fellow who has reached the heights that you have as a professional bowler in the short length of time, what did you do? There might be a lot of people interested in becoming a great bowler in just a few years. What did you do? It takes, usually takes 15 years or more. 
Well, I did practice a lot, uh, Freddie, but I'll tell you, back in 49, I bought a bowling alley so I could practice. Oh, that's a good idea, but everybody can't do that. Well, I couldn't either, but the bank kind of liked me, so we got along. Mm-hmm. In other words, uh, you practice. You just bowl and bowl and bowl until you mastered the game. Is that correct? Yes, it came a, l a little easier than for some people, perhaps, because I did play every sport you can mention except a few, and I played a little pro football, a little semi-pro baseball, and I hit the golf ball, but uh, I think I bowl the best. Well, you certainly showed us that this week. Uh, you're 648, uh, as I told Bill. Both of these totals uh, are strong totals. I, I believe you boys with a little kick here or there. You've got a couple of nice rollers uh, across the pin deck. You got a patent on that shot? I wish I did have, but uh, I think Bill shot much better than his score shot. And, of course, we all think we all of us shot better, but uh, it evens out in the long run, especially my match did. Well, you have 648 to go, and your next appearance uh, about uh, 690 or maybe the 700. We could see you back here in the finals. Well, I'm going to get a higher room number in my hotel so I can shoot it next time. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Fred Lenning, Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Don't go away now because we have something interesting. We'll be right back. With us again this week, the great All-American Esther Woods. Let's give her a nice Parkersburg welcome. Hi, Fred. A little while ago, I heard you talking about Nina Ricci. I wonder if you thought maybe she was a new bowler that was coming into the area to bowl on championship bowling, maybe pitting against uh, Lindy Farragalli? I did. I heard she was a new member of the AMF <laughs> the staff. The <laughs> well, you're sure mistaken, Fred, really. Your wife and all the ladies here in Parkersburg certainly know that Nina Ricci is a famed, renowned fashion designer. Oh. And she's, bo she's come up with some beautiful fashions for bowling, and I'd like to show you one now. Right. Kitty Smith, our model here, is modeling the new Nina Ricci gray flannel jumper. You notice that it has the cutaway hemline, which allows her to stride freely to the foul line. It's covered up with what we call an A-shaped panel front. Also, she has on a leather ascot tie at the neck for trim. Very attractive, isn't it? Yes. Look at those boots. Aren't they cute? This is the first boot designed for bowling. It's called the Sheba. And the handbag she's carrying is called the Felina. Now, this whole uh, Nina Ricci outfit is available at all the better stores around the country. And it's from the Magic Triangle International Collection. You sure that bag won't bite her at any time? Oh, no. Thank you, Kitty. Very attractive. Very nice. Isn't Very nice. it, though? Well. Look at this, Fred. Oh, you know, God. I told you, look at Lindy. He's really giving some instructions over there, and it looks as though he's certainly looking her over in that fashion, doesn't it? Sure does. But, you know, it goes to show you, and I always say that men will do it. You know, especially if fashions are nice and attractive in bowling, they really go for them. But that's what we want, isn't it? I would say that's the general trend uh, with the ladies. You've got to look nice at all times, and these are just marvelous fashions. Oh, I, I think they're beautiful. I'm like Lindy. I'd be attracted myself to something like that. Thanks, Fred. Thank you very Gee, much, It's Esther. so nice being Please, here. Please uh, stop in any time on championship bowling, and uh, I'm sure all the folks here in Parkersburg will be very glad to have you drop in. Thank Wouldn't you very you? much. Really? All of you? We'll repeat the scores. Bill Johnson, games of 211, 196, and 210. The total is 617. For Fred Lenning from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, 236, 202, and 210. The total 648. Quite a study in statistics. Bill Johnson had 13 strikes. Fred Lenning only 15 strikes, but Lenning the winner by 31 pins. Both these boys will appear again on future shows here on Championship Bowling from the beautiful Emerson Lanes in Parkersburg, West Virginia. The two top totals for the two appearances, of course, will qualify the two men for the finals with a $15,000 added purse. 
Hope you can join us again next week. We'll have two more of our field of 24 of these great bowling stars in match game competition on Championship Bowling, television's number one bowling show. Over $75,000 in prizes will be with you here from the Emerson Lanes. Fred Wolf saying just keep them bowling out there. shirts and slacks used on championship bowling by King Louie. Championship Bowling is sanctioned by the American Bowling Congress, and we wish to thank AMF for their cooperation in helping us to produce Championship Bowling. <laughs> <laughs>